Welcome back, everybody. So, uh, well, you probably noticed this, but I'm keeping it pretty casual today because, well, let's be real honest, it's like our fourth day of doing this and I didn't feel like getting dressed up for work. So, you get this, you get Mr. Johnson in his favorite flannel and his favorite ball cap. <laughs> um, with that, uh, we are going to talk about uh, citing our sources today. So you've been doing a lot of work about gathering your websites and making sure that you have all the right things for all of your handouts, right? For the general English kids, you've got the um, you've got two handouts, uh, one for a career or trade school uh, necessary, or one for a career that requires college or trade school. My bad. Um, and you've got uh, one for a career that you can do right out of high school with no further training or the military. Uh, for my honors kids, you've got two careers picked out and researched that requires a college or trade school education. And again, one career that is, you know, you can do right outside of high school without uh, any further training or certification, right? Hopefully we've been able to figure that out by now. Um, if you're not, if you still have questions, please reach out to me and let me know, all right? Uh, but today, we are going to be focusing on turning all of those websites that we've collected into citations. Uh, luckily for many of us, uh, they've got similar websites for a lot of our information, and that should be pretty easy to translate over into citations. Now, you've already used Purdue OWL a little bit. You should have completed that Purdue OWL scavenger hunt by now. What you have today is a quick presentation from me uh, recorded on Loom that you're going to find below in your Maven card, all right? You're going to find that in your Maven card. Just click on that. It'll take you to Loom. You can watch me go through, talk about citations. It talks about some of the differences on if you can't find an author's name, if you can't find uh, a date and what that might look like. And it also gives you a link directly to Purdue OWL's digital resources uh, page. So all the information that you're going to need to know about citing a digital resource. Now, I'm assuming that most of us used entirely digital resources to create our handouts. And that's fine. That's okay. Digital resources are valid. They're useful. They're there for a reason. But we still need to cite that information in our paper. If not, that's plagiarism. You can get sued. You can uh, get expelled when you're at the college level. Here, I think we just write you up. Um, and eventually you might get suspended if you do it too frequently. You can plagiarize yourself if you didn't know that. Yeah, you can plagiarize yourself uh, because remember, if you submit a paper or submit something, that counts as a publication, all right? And that means that you are turning the, that work in. And whenever you turn something in, it has to be original and has to have new research and, and information. You can cite yourself, but you need to make sure that you're doing that properly. And no, you cannot cite an entire research paper if you've done something similar to this, say, in your personal finance course. That is still plagiarism. A research paper needs you to analyze the information that you found. All right? So go ahead, uh, pause this video if you need to, and jump over, watch that Loom video, uh, and then you can come back. I'm going to give a few seconds of pause here so you can pick back up. All right, I'm assuming you either paused or you just waited for me to get through that. Either are fine. What we are going to do next is uh, just head right on over to Classroom. Uh, there's a page for you to fill out um, that just has, you know, it's just a pre-made document. It's going to be blank. It's for you to put all your citations in um, for your reference page for your APA paper. You will get your official handout for that APA paper tomorrow on Friday. Uh, so that way you will know where we are going, and I will go over that um, that handout with you. Uh, I will do another Loom screencast recording of that, so that way you can see you know what my expectations are, and I can talk you through the expectations and what that's going to look like. Um, and I'm going to try and scrounge up uh, one from last year that was really that went really well, and one that I liked, and what that might look like. All right, and so we're going to do that. We'll go through all that uh, tomorrow, and it should be easy peasy. However, we are kind of starting backwards and I want you to write your reference list first because it often seems like the most daunting task. And let's be honest, it's really not the most fun task in the world is to create a reference list. So let's just do it first and get it out of the way. That should be no big deal, right? 
Uh, so I want you to do that and get it turned in. Other than that, that's really the only thing that we're doing today. I know that we've been throwing a lot of stuff at you. Uh, and, and I know that's hard and that's stressful. And we all have different, you know, abilities to work on our own at home. I know that it's tough for me uh, because I live in a two bedroom apartment and I don't really have like a space for me to work on stuff. It's hard for me to stay focused all the time. It's very hard. And I know for a lot of you, it's difficult as well. So I'm trying to be sympathetic to that. Uh, we're going to just keep extending deadlines. If we need to go back over stuff when we get in class and in person, let's do it. As a reminder, if you've got questions for me, please ask them, email me. I'm going to do my best to respond to those pretty quickly. Hopefully you've been getting responses fairly quickly when you email me. Um, if I've missed something and it's just taking a really long time for me to respond, email me again. Uh, as a reminder, from two to three, I am available to video chat if you need me to, uh, and we can go over something. I can screen share and we can pull stuff up and work on it together. It's fine. Um, just email me beforehand. Uh, you can also comment on the announcement that I put in your classroom page today. All right. So you do that if you need to get a hold of me, if you're interested in that. Again, I'm also down to just chat and hang out. Um, I've got lots of opinions on the new PS5 release. Um, if you just want to talk about that, that's fine. If you have not done so already, please check your email and look for an email from Mrs. Sullivan or Mrs. Fezzedin or the counseling office in general about ASVAB testing and what that looks like and what that will mean for you if you are considering the military. Please do that. Get in contact with them so they can make adjustments as needed, okay? So with that, we are going to head on over to our standards, which you probably noticed are the same because we've been working on the same stuff for about a week, and I will see you again tomorrow. The I can statements and standards for today are I can gather information from multiple relevant sources and writing standard seven conduct short and sustained research projects.